Buddha at Juarez, a place where you can smell freedom. Yes, you are free to bribe the police. You are free to steal your neighbor internet. You are free to drive recklessly. You are free to give alcohol to minors. You are free to rape and lose but not or You are free to give. The gunmen entered inside. Many of the victims ran to this area here, but sadly, that's where they ended up shooting many of the students. They ravaged by death and violence. Its citizens lost their jobs and closed their own business and started working from the inside of their homes and tried to survive. The violence and the worsening economy. People were afraid of going out at night. No place was safe. No mall, park, bar restaurant was safe, not even their own front yards or streets. By 9 p.m. all the streets were abandoned. The streets were dead. A new war is arising from the darkness. You can now see people at night. They go out to clubs, have parties and... A couple of years ago, Ciudad Juarez on the Mexico-U.S. border had the highest murder rate in the world. But recently violence has fallen dramatically and the city seems to be returning to life as normal. Local businessmen like at the height of the violence in 2010, 3,000 people were killed here in the war between the Sinaloa cartel, led by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, one of the world's richest men, and the Juarez cartel. In 2012, only 750 died, and since January, just 33. The number of killings, while still shocking, is without doubt in decline. What's in dispute are the reasons why. Many say the peace proves simply that El Chapo has won the war, and his group's control of drug trafficking here is no longer contested. The local authority says it's proof that poverty and lack of opportunities in Juarez have driven many young men into the drug trade, creating more drug enforcers. Everyone thinks that the violence is going down because the government is doing their job and they are repelling the cartel away from Juarez, Sinaloa cartel, taking control of the Mexican border city. Violence may be declining, but no one can tell when it will end. On the other side of the border, the violence has never spilled over the border. That is simply because the cartel didn't want to generate violence on the safest city of America. Most drugs aren't transported through the wilderness. Instead, they pass right under border guards' noses, smuggled in some of tens of thousands of cars, trucks and trains that pass daily through official ports of entry. Mexican drug cartels know better than to let violence spill over into U.S safest cities are on or near the border. We went to El Paso, Texas, lowest crime rate in the nation, three years running. People who are thinking about whether or not we should start immigration say, we have to wait until the border is secure. What do you say to that? I would say then we're ready to start right now because the border is secure. Back in Arizona, Senator McCain hopes to convince skeptics from his base that border security is improving. We will be able to say that we have a degree of border security that would allow people to move forward to a path to citizenship. Border drug trafficking has not changed appreciably. El Paso has seen an extremely sharp drop in cross-border migration. While the decline in attempted border crossings is a national trend, it is especially notable in the El Paso sector. Juarez has been becoming less violent in the the murder rate has been going down drastically. See 
you that Juarez is no longer the murder capital.